Hello everyone. Good morning. Let us continue the class. So the next topic is the human environment. We have already discussed up till page 10 the topic that is interaction between the components of the environment. So let us start today from page 11 of the same chapter that we have been discussing from the last two classes, right? Two or three classes. So let us see what you mean by human environment. The environment is the source of all resources which human beings require in order to prosper and survive. Early humans lived in harmony with nature, but with the advancement of science and technology, rapid industrialization and spread of agriculture, urbanization and overpopulation resulted. Underline that. Early humans lived in harmony with nature. But with the advancement of science and technology, rapid industrialization and spread of agriculture, urbanization and overpopulation resulted. All right. So what led to urbanization and overpopulation? It is because of the advancement of science. You know, science has really developed a lot from the past the days when it originated right and technology another thing today in each and everything we need technology technology has become one of the most important part of our life now you're able to listen to this class or you're able to attend this class why right? because of this technology imagine such type of situation pandemic like we have today COVID-19 and where there is no technology schools are being shut how would you how would you study or how would you know we convey this explanation to you it would have been totally a different thing but today it became so easy for us just because of the technology that we have in front of us so because of the technology because of the advancement of science because of the spread of agriculture Ultimately, it resulted in what? Urban, what do you mean by urban? Urban area, rural area, rural, village. Okay? In simple term, urban, town, city. Okay? So, because of this industrialization, technology, science, agriculture, today we have urbanized more and more. You know, villages are transforming themselves into towns, towns into cities. And as a result, it's getting overpopulated, overcrowded. Human beings have transformed the environment to fulfill their needs. We no longer have to wait for, you know, the nature to fulfill our requirement. We have all different sorts of technology just at our fingertips with which we can fulfill our needs. But also I would like to add something to this is that because of the technology, yes, everything has got two aspects a positive and a negative we have also been you know exploiting nature exploiting environment for our own selfish interests and so see when this nature takes its own turn we have to face the consequences i like what i mean to say is that flood drought and all many a times when it occurs you see so many people they lose their life you know their shelter, homes and all. We all are affected because we didn't take care of nature. Like, uh, again, coming back to the present situation. Deforestation, or like this urbanization, making, constructing buildings, houses, towns, shopping malls, roads. And we need space for all these things. So what do we do? Cut down the trees. Hmm? Clear the area so that we can, you know, transform our area, we can transform our place. Fine, very good. And we know these are this very same tree, they are the one which emits oxygen and the one which we inhale. Today, there was a time when logs of, you know, this big, big trees, it was carried on trucks and transported for various purposes, for various commercial uses, business. And see, 
the road you know the role that nature has played today oxygens are being transported on the, you know big trucks and all you might have seen come across this news channel what is called this oxygen express and something why because it is we the human being we did not take care of nature and so today so today we need to buy this oxygen cylinders and all so my dear children plant trees okay yes i'm not saying that urbanization is not required development is not required it is a part and parcel of life but if you have to cut down if there is no way and if you need to cut down one tree make sure that you plant at least 10 right so so that it will maintain a balance next paragraph page number 11 activities such as clearing of forest land lumbering and mining became unsustainable with the passage of time the same thing which i explained you just few minutes back couple of minutes back this activities have intensified the process of environmental degradation see we didn't even read the paragraph i just told you and it is mentioned out in the next paragraph because of this activities that is deforestation mining lumbering and all. yeah by the way uh, any word if you are not able to understand the meaning meaning okay i'm not telling you the context that i will explain you but any word which is new to you what will you do is that underline that word get the meaning of it from the dictionary and memorize it so that you know you also learn many new words and at the same time it becomes easier for you to express your answers okay and also to communicate so where i was yeah so activities such as uh, clearing the forest lands such as mining lumbering they became unsustainable along with the passage of time and because of this our environment got affected it is degrading and an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the air has led to global warming another reason of global warming because of the increase of carbon dioxide and why carbon dioxide is increasing because of less plants less trees because they are the one who inhale carbon dioxide the one which we release now when they are not there who will inhale it will go up into the atmosphere so the amount of co2 will keep on increasing day by day gradually and we will suffer see there is a picture given in page 11 on your right hand side figure 1.4 about the human activities which hampers the environment there are four pictures go through that next sustainable development there's a very thin line between development and sustainable development people think that the development that is taking place right now or you know construct construction of this bridges roads big shopping malls and all this are development no this cannot be termed as development you must have a clear concept what do you mean by development for time being you can say this as a development but in the long run the very same development which you are saying you know which you are considering it to be a development today this is the one which is going to hamper you how because this development will ultimately or you can say this development is ultimately hampering our environment so which means it will have a adverse effect in our future so therefore this development won't sustain it won't survive long so that is the reason that this are not sustainable development sustainable development means a development which does not hamper the environment and also does not destroy our future does not affect our future all right that is called sustainable development so you me we we all we must look for sustainable development that is the need of the hour see it's written i will read in your text page 11 right hand side on top sustainable development should take place in a society where the requirements of the present do not in any way compromise the ability of the future generation to move to meet their needs underline that the one which i have explained to you i gave you a brief explanation a basic form of explanation so that you understand it's written in a you know a more detailed manner that the development which does not hamper in any way which does not compromise with our future generation 
growth of such a social system involves checking population now how can we achieve sustainable development that is the, that is the answer for this question growth of such a social system involves checking population population growth sensible use of resources using renewable sources of energy recycling of waste these are some of the ways through which we can achieve sustainable development so with this we come to the end of the chapter let us just you know have a quick recap of the main key points from this chapter first point major components of environment which includes the natural environment that is a biotic biotic natural environment and also the main med environment point number 2 this components of environment continuously they interact and they are interrelated they also function you know in an organized manner in a systematic manner in a particular definite system point number 3 the early human beings they lived in a very peaceful in a very you know peace coexistence and peaceful coexistence in a harmony with nature but however because of our yours mine our human activities gradually this became unsustainable we are not able to live in peace in peace with nature now anymore because why we need to construct our houses we need to we need big roads we need this we need that so why to worry about the nature right we need empty space and to build up this that so we are going on so therefore now that peaceful coexistence with nature it has become unsustainable now and moreover due to the advancement of yes technology next we have also read just now we saw that such what is what do you mean by sustainable development and as i told you that this is the main need of the r because this is the requirement of the present you know of the present society and in no way we can compromise with the needs of the future generation all right that's the entire chapter summing up you see there are some new words some word meanings glossary mentioned at the end of the chapter like aquatic life zone biome ecosystem urbanization go through those memorize those and yes exercise of course that i'll be sharing with you in the tlm okay with this we come to the end of this chapter go through the text study well be at home be safe